Greetings, everyone. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Winnipeg School Division, I am pleased to offer our congratulations on your graduation. This year, Grade 12 has been a unique year for all of you. And I know that some of you have really flourished in this environment. And for some of you, there have been a lot of challenges. We are a class of such hardworking and driven individuals. I think despite every adversity that we've faced, we've came through, we've persevered, and we've pushed ourselves to give back to our communities. This year has definitely not what we envisioned, but we became resilient. And that is definitely something that we need to be proud of. I'm so proud of you guys and I'm so proud of myself. And this was a tough year, but it's a good experience too. So like, um, we got the chance to work from home and experience that. And now, if we had to do it again, we, we will do well at it. The commitment and dedication to your studies that you have shown will definitely assist you as you move forward to your next journey. Kind of cliche, but just don't give up. Like this year, it was a tough year for everybody. But here we are, we're at the end. We made it through. So if you take that same attitude towards life, working hard, not giving up, you can accomplish anything. We were constantly scared of having to follow the rules, constantly being distanced and masked. And the fear of COVID, it was super real this year, just being scared to go outside. In a year like this, every single teacher really stepped up and you know they put themselves you know, on the line and risked their lives pretty much to come teach us and be as helpful as possible. So yeah, a huge thank you to all, this, all the teachers. For me, my uh, sewing class teacher, she brought me uh, some sewing equipment so I could sew at home and not get bored at home, you see. Uh, for my sisters, they, uh, they deliver some breakfast for them sometimes too as well. So that was great because we still had the support from school even though we were at home. The school g uh, gave us laptops uh, in order to help us connect with them because many of us didn't have. You're now at the point where you're getting your graduation diploma. I wish we could be together in person at a graduation ceremony for you and for your friends and your family and your school staff to all celebrate this occasion together. I think it's important to understand that the real celebration is amidst what you've become, what you've done and what you've accomplished and we've accomplished so much. Through these challenging times, we want to acknowledge and commend you for continuing to learn at home and to excel in those learnings. I would say to my fellow graduates that you should be proud of yourself for graduating during such a difficult and uncertain time in the world. Just a big congratulations to everyone. I think this was a, a really mentally hard year and everyone's, everyone's mental health was a bit strained this year. So I think everyone did a really good job here at Coles Churchill to keep everyone happy and healthy. Um, and just for all, all the other graduates, just be passionate about what you care about. Like this is, this is our future here and if you do something that you really love, then you'll never work a day in your life and you can really, really uh, get, get done what you want to do. We are all very proud of you and the significance and importance of receiving your diploma on your journey from nursery to grade 12 in the Winnipeg School Division. Congratulations to all of you. I hope each and every one of you guys find something that you will be passionate about for the rest of your lives. Being at your very best, circumstances will come along the way, but you know, just have the determination um, to always continue persevering, to always continue believing, because there are people that are believing in you, with you, and for you. You should be extremely proud of how far you've come and of yourself and your achievements. And whatever you decide to do after high school, you should do it because it makes you happy and it's what you're passionate about. Just do what you love. I think I spent a lot of my time here really focused on the things I should be doing and like not a lot on the things that I really wanted to do. And like especially going off to university, like I think I'm really gonna take that into account. So do what you love, enjoy what you do, and never think that what you're doing like isn't enough. Like as long as you're doing it, like it's gonna be good. I would advise everyone to just elevate yourself to your fullest potential and 
just follow your dreams and aspirations and follow your heart and follow through. Uh, since we're all at a crossroads and going to our different paths, I just want y'all to remember all that you have learned from the past three, four years or even from the past 15 years that you've been in school and just carry them towards your new chapter in life. The pandemic going on, we really did like our best to get to this point and to be a family graduate. It's really a big opportunity for us. We will encounter a lot of obstacles in outside of high school. And I just want you to know that you need to use your failures as a motivation to do better every time. If you're having like struggles with your mental health or if you're staying motivated, you should set little goals for yourself that will um, like keep you motivated to keep doing your schoolwork. You'll feel happy once you achieve that and then you'll be inclined to do more work and you'll eventually hit your end goal. Congratulations to all of you on behalf of the Winnipeg School Division. We are so proud of you and your successes. Best wishes for the future and most of all, good health.